Hey guys, what's up? D Life here, and I am here with some more maze. You guys really enjoyed the first one. This game is really weird, but I also wanted to say thank you to everybody who left likes and comments on the video that I came back, the Tomato Way video. That was a lot of support, and uh, I just want to thank you guys. If you guys could keep that up, that'd be amazing. That will help the channel so much. I think it had like 2,000 likes. I haven't had a video with 2,000 likes in a while, so thank you guys again for all the support. And leave likes if you want to see this series continue. I'm very interested. What the hell do I do with this corn muffin? We just came back from the cornfield where we saw the corn, all the freaking corn that's alive, and the, now we're in an underground base. So I'm hoping to get some goddamn answers. There are, are these, oh, a facility brochure. Okay. A, flash, a flashy brochure that appears to be a part of the proposed tour of the facility, which includes what Bob thought a modern child looked like. Most of the brochure is redacted, except for the walking sentient coin on the front. <laughs> so, I guess they were trying to create sentient coin. That's like a, that's now confirmed. That's a part of the lore. My God, Bob, what is this? Did you actually have the g gall to commission a bronze statue of yourself? It'll cost us a fortune, you narcissistic dolt. Cordially, Ted. <laughs> Hiya, Ted. Don't worry, I got a good deal on it. Commission these statues in bulk. Think they really spruce up the facility, especially for the tour. Could be a big money maker for us. What? Bob, are you- you are so very stupid. What about the term classified don't you understand? We can't host any tours, moron. Cordially, Ted. And don't think I didn't notice you put one near the farmhouse. Repeat, classified. Put it away, idiot. Cordially, Ted. So that's where the statue came from. So this guy is one of the people that was working on it. So it's just Ted, Ted and we got Ted and Bob. So it's Ted and Bob. So I'm guessing this is, that's Ted S. That's Bob. Okay, so Bob. Oh, do I do something with the painted? Ooh. Interesting. So the painting is something of its own. Okay, so this is Ted. He has a small ass picture. And this is Bob who has a huge portrait done. Whoa. It goes all nice and inviting to like... This. What the fuck was that? Dude, I just saw something. I was, I was taking in this beautiful facility and then down the hall, some kind of fucking giant broom or something went down this hallway. I saw it, okay? <laughs> I'm not seeing things. I'm not seeing stuff. <gasps> what the hell am I doing here? Here's more post-it notes. Hiya, Ted. The fish shipment should be arriving today. Could be a. Could you be a pal and put them in the tanks for me? Thanks. Bob, you dummy. There are thousands of water tanks here. Do you realize how much feeding these fish will cost? Cordially, Ted. So these guys just fought back and forth. Bob is a little bit of a spender of money, but he's he's a he's a free soul. He likes to do a lot of stuff. Ted seems to be uptight and uh, on point, though. He's getting he's getting work done. So there's some boxes blocking some doorways. I'm assuming we got to open some stuff. There's a jacket here, but there's also a page. Invoice for an order of military grade jump shoots at a heavy markdown from the original cost. All apparently have the name Mitchell embroidered across the breast and only come in size quadruple XL. The word defective appears a few times in very small print. Weird. That's like a million dollars. What the hell? Is this one of the jump suits? Cheap jumpsuit. So I got a cheap jumpsuit that says Mitchell. I thought it said like Mitchell across the entire chest the way it said. Hey, Ted, Ted, exciting news. I got us a huge deal on jumpsuits for the facility. I got thousands I got thousands in bulk at a fraction of the price. I've already used the savings for some great for some great stuff. Bob, you idiot! I you got a good deal on them because they are completely useless. No one can wear them. Cordially Ted. So we have an English muffin and we have a jumpsuit. Ooh. We have a security room. Reserve power mode active. Warfare? 
appears to be a report on warfare readiness of the subjects of Project Maze. The report states multiple times that the sentient coin have no discernible method of raising or operating a military firearm and have a habit of taking naps right in the middle of the test. The term abject failure also appears all over the document, a running theme on many reports involving the coin. So they were supposed to create, ooh, pizza. Sorry, I got distracted on the pizza. Am I supposed to put the jumpsuit on there? Um, I guess they were supposed to create the corn to fight in wars? I'm guessing? There's some, this is really cool. I like this room. Coat rack. So is the jumpsuit? Oh, I just take the coat rack with me. The fuck the jumpsuit going on it. All right. This game has always got some crazy shit going on. Hi, it's Ed. The latest brochure came back from the press. Take a look. I think it'll really, really boost the tour. You'll be happy to know that the most sensitive bits have been redacted. Safety first. Bob, first, you're an idiot. That brochure is incredibly stupid. Second, for the last time, no tours. Third, if you're going to make this stupid brochure, at least add my name to it. We're co-research heads, remember? As in the same title, jerk. Hi, it's Ed. Really sorry about the final print has been done and sent off. I'll make doubly sure that the next one has your name underneath mine on the front. Good God, Bob. Do you have the reading comprehension of a five-year-old? This is top secret. Facility, where did you send those brochures, moron? <gasps> Jeez, they just fight and fight and fight. Oh, there's a little note. Bob, you jerk. Put my ram back where it was. I know you took it and hid it in that stupid spot of yours. Bring it back here. Okay. Gripatron. Okay. There's some crazy shit going on. Old computer. I have so much stuff in my inventory now. Bob, you disgusting slob. Don't you know how to read? Stop eating in here, gluten. 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 I don't know. Power strip. Turned on power strip. Oh, place an old cute old computer on the desk. Bob, stop playing your stupid games on my computer. It's screwing around with my AI experiments, idiot. Jeez. Um what goes there? I'm assuming I need something. English muffin wouldn't work, of course. Alright, I think we got everything in here. Do I put the Gripatron here? Oh, Grip there's a lot of things that go in here. Interesting, there's like a, I don't know, that looks like a teddy bear. I don't know what that is, but we're doing stuff. What the hell? Why do they have a preschool room kind of thing? Be responsible, be ready for a great year. Oh, is this like they raised the corn in here? Be active, be inspired. What does that say? I don't know if that's gonna be a code or something. I don't know. Can't touch it. There's post-its in here. Bob, you lazy buffoon, I know you're spending all your time here and not signing the giant stack of paperwork I left at your desk. Stop playing with your toys and do your job. Also, for the thousandth time, why do you even have a daycare? There are no children here, half-wit. Oh, Bob was, oh, there's the, the bear, the teddy bear. I like the teddy bear. I want to keep him with me. I think he's cool. I have no idea what's going on in here. Skill number one. So yeah, they have a daycare. And I don't see the point of the daycare. There's a lot of code. There's a code here too. I don't know if this is something I'm going to need. I feel like it's a code. But he's having a good old time in here. There's a lot of stuff that could be codes. Holy shit. I'll have to come back here if I see anything that's code-like. Because that room has a lot of codes. All right, I know the teddy bear goes back that way, but we have another room to investigate. It's a weight room? What is going on? He spent a shit ton of money. There's something over here, a dumbbell. Try as you might, you are not able to lift this more than two times in quick succession, and yet somehow you continue to carry it with you wherever you go. I'm a weak, I'm so weak. I don't got, I don't got muscles, man. I don't got those muscles. I'm not, I can't lift more than five pounds. This is, there's no notes in here though. So he must be okay with the weight room. There's a locker. This is a lot. The only way this report could sound more triumphant is if trumpets were 
blared everywhere the time it was read. Explains the very promising results after examining one of the new sentient corn stalks. A breed of ruby queen corn that shows high level intelligence. It also glosses over the fact that this specimen is somehow female, which was apparently impossible under the genetic protocol the facility used to create them. So they're only creating men corn. How sexist. Sexist corn. <laughs> or maybe sexist people and corn. Sweaty headband. I don't even, okay. <laughs> Do I wear the sweaty headband? I don't wanna wear the sweaty headband. Something's blocked off. Oh, shit blocked off. Toilet, bathrooms. Oh, something back here. I see. And is that soap? Oh, I thought it was soap. A run-of-the-mill rock with no defining features whatsoever to discern it from the billions of other rocks currently in existence. Its name is Mabel. Okay, Mabel. Let's go. Let's go places, Mabel. Ooh. All right, so we have a fake panel. Not 100% sure what to do with it. But we do have the teddy bear to bring back over... Oh, we went past it. Over here. Well, that goes there. Does any of this stuff go here? It looks like two more things go there and none of the stuff I hold looks like it goes. Okay. There's something over here that I did not see. Well, I saw it in the view. Oh, what the f This is a very, there's corn looking at me. Hello, corn. Why is there a trail of paper and pizza? I'm okay with the pizza. Like I understand the trail of pizza. Why is the corn up there? They seem to be thinking about murdering me, I think. A cheeseburger wrapper. Originated from a local fast food restaurant, the nutrition, nutritional information on the wrapper proudly proclaims now 100% salmonella free. There are no exaggeration, thousands of these wrappers littering the facility, but a very fetching mustard stain on this particular one sparked you to pick it up. Well, salmonella only comes from chicken, so I think you know, oh wow. Bob is, or is, is that Bob riding Ted? Yeah, that's Bob riding Ted. Hey, Ted, notice that you took down the painting in the lobby. Thanks. Add a little blemish on it. No sweat though. Here's another one. Be a pal and put it up, would you please? Bob, I'm not putting up another one of your paintings, you self indulgent loose. For God's sakes, how many did you order? And why is my face on that stupid horse? <laughs> I think this game is very quirky and I like it. I like these conversations between Bob and Ted. I guess we go up to see the corn. There's like paper trail. Let us pose another query. If a tree falls in the woods, does it make a sound? Hmm, interesting conundrum. What kind of tree? Fur. Can it talk? Yes, but only after lunchtime. Is it wearing a lot of bells? Some, but not many. Is it in a glass house? Naturally. I have it. It does make a sound, but since it's a tree, it's too stupid to notice. Correct! Well <gasps> done. <laughs> Hi, guys. Can I talk to them? They don't give a shit about me. There's a thing I picked up. A schedule outlining the work shifts of the entire facility. Staff, most notable are the shifts for the two founders. They are completely opposite of each other. Makes sense. So there's a lot of, of people that worked here. So it wasn't just those two. I was under the impression it was just those two, so a lot of people. Whoa, I'm on your table. I like your hair. I just realized they have hair. That is so cool. I like your guy's hair. Good for hanging coats unless it's placed upside down, which in case it could be not effective at all. Ooh. So that's interesting. It could be placed upside down. A gold plated toilet? Somebody ate a lot of pizza and cheeseburgers here. I mean, this is blocked off too. Ooh. A Sketcher 3000? And an invoice for an opulent bathroom. The invoice for this incredibly extravagant bathroom calls for two marble steps leading up to two extravagant toilets and a sink encrusted with gold. Cost is in the hundreds of thousands. Ted left at Bob's toilet seat with a very pointed statement on financial culpability. I'm not paying for this. Well, I guess if you're gonna do it, you gotta do it in comfort and 
lavishness. Bob, you disgusting slob. Until you've cleaned up after yourself, I'm blocking your entrance into the bathroom. I'm tired of calling in the hazmat team every week, moron. Aha. So they blocked that off themselves. There's a dumbbell. There's that painting again. He has another one in there. He just wanted them placed all around, so... So Bob is a very big messy... Oh! It's a military backpack. Cool. Oh, a drawer. And I got a small screwdriver. I don't know what that's for. Maybe that's for the secret vent? Oh, he had donuts too. Sugar bagel. Wait, what? They're bagels. I thought they were donuts. That's mind-blowing. Sugar ba bagels? They make those? I'm interested. Tell me more about the sugar babel babels. The sugar babels. There's a note on the ground. An invoice from a very famous painter commissioned to create a set of portraits of the founders. It appears to be a spearheaded completely by Bob, with very specific instructions on the style of portraits to be painted. Cost is in the millions. Oh my god. God, Bob is just like throwing cash around like nobody's business. Thanks for the screwdriver, Bob. Appreciate it. Okay, ooh. Hello. Does this go here? Okay. That looks like the keyboard. So something goes in the keyboard? I have a shit ton of stuff and none of it works for that. So the keyboard is going in this bear's backpack. Okay. Gotcha. I don't think it works for that. Oh, there we go. It took a bit. Uh, extremely face panel. There's a note. Hiya, Ted. Just need just a heads up. I put your RAM right here. This way it gets less dusty. I'm assuming that goes back to the computer. Oh, the old computer has been upgraded. It's not your best work. Thanks. Appreciate it. I got a keyboard. Does this go in here? It's alive. Oh, your your eye. Oh. What? What are you looking at? Something on Vladdy's face? He's Russian bear. Why you not talk? Do I want to talk to you. Understand. I understand what you. Vladdy is. <gasps> Vladdy? Is his name Vladdy? <sighs> Butso boy, you're a big idiot. <gasps> How you survive by being stupid? <laughs> <sighs> Fine. Vladdy, help. Vladdy! <sighs> I like Vlad. Oh, you okay, Vladdy? Why, guys, so many? Huh? What is this on Vladdy's back? <laughs> this makes no sense. <laughs> All of this is very stupid. I agree, Vladdy. <sighs> so, where we go? Yeah, Vladdy's joining us. Does he follow me? <gasps> You've acquired Vladdy. Prepare to be insulted forever. I love Vladdy. Vladdy, you are my. You are abide forever, Vladdy. <laughs> Alright, is this a new chapter? I don't know if this is a new chapter. We're gonna keep going, Vladdy. Do you know how to do- <gasps> He squeaks when he walks! Vladdy, come with me. <gasps> we need you to settle a debate on taking naps. Oh my god, what is that? I agree! What is, what is Plant saying? Is that a- It is. It's a helicopter! What? Da? Give me a ride, Mr. Helicopter. No, give me a ride. <laughs> we can all fit just climbing. <laughs> My lucid drug. What's the way? Boy, Grisomnyoy. Chitanya Vesela. What a rude contraption. <laughs> what if you're just going to be like that? Oh, Vladdy. You insulted them. <laughs> right. We completely forgot. We have a message for you. It's oh. very important. You should hit the showers. What's a shower? I have no idea. We should hit the showers. Vladdy does not like it here. <laughs> Vladdy, let's go. A new path is open to you. You should probably go find it. He said something about the showers. He, he squeaks when he walks. It's so goddamn fucking cute. I'm sorry, Vladdy. All right, so the showers. Where was the showers again? It was by the weight room. He walks so slow. Vladdy! There he is! <laughs> He's so slow. Oh, he teleport! How the fuck did you teleport, Vladdy? That just raised you on my bar of epicness. So Vladdy can teleport. That's amazing. All right, is the weight room in? No, this is a daycare. Ooh. Oh, event. Vladdy's 
stay here while you do your stupid things. Idiot. <gasps> Buddy! Buddy, come with me. You can fit in here. Apparently, I gotta do stupid things. You know what? It's telling me to go this way. But screw it! I'm gonna go the way it doesn't tell me to go. Oh. I don't think I can go this way. I feel like this is just gonna go around in a circle. Maybe not. Oh. Oh, is that the female one? I'm assuming. Uh, how dare I assume her gender? We're just, like very sneaky, creepily watching her. Who has disturbed me? Oh shit. We are not amused that you have kept us waiting. Has our servant informed you of your task? No, of course not. Imbecile. No matter. One must do things themselves if one would like it done right. Feels like we have been trapped here for an age. Our cowardly captors saw to that by Ooh. stopping the righteous light from bathing us in its glory. Oh. Of course, we would not expect one such as yourself to understand. But perhaps you are different from the rest. I like Vladdy. Dare we let ourselves hope? I just want Vladdy, I don't want to leave. We finally found our champion. Oh. I'm a champion. No, what? Likely not. <gasps> How dare you? But we would be remiss if we did not at least let you attempt to do something of value. So, we bequeath to you your tasks. Okay. Restore energy to this wretched place once again. And raise the rings. Only then will you be worthy of consideration. For what? Looks like you have something to do. In a pure coincidence, a new path has opened. Head to the West Hook Chuck checkpoint. What's the West Hook checkpoint? I don't even know what the fuck's going on anymore. I'm just... I'm just in... This is weird, okay? I'm gonna follow this yellow checkpoint. Oh. <gasps> Where did it go? Not here. Ha! Not here. So insulting! How dare it! This insolence will not be tolerated! This one is dangerous. Not like the others. I can see it already. This one has a brain. Hmm, must be dealt with. Does he have a diaper? Or is that like a fanny pack? <laughs> what does that say? He's probably talking about you. I mean, I mean stupid. Oh, is he t telling her she's a mean stupid? So they're facing off each other. He wants to get rid of me. All right. Interesting. I'm going somewhere. Oh. It should be me. It should be me. Surrounded by idiots. Rattle. Underappreciated. Ridiculed. Scorned. Really, what is that? X is not a number. What? Why is that there? We should have kept one around to ask about that. Exits. Ugh. Ridiculous. Exits. Hmm. Much better. Some of my best Stupid. work. We did saying something. <laughs> what was I doing? Ah, yes. Dealing with unwanted guests. I gotta watch out for Mr. Stupid, I guess. Vlad, are you gonna... Oh, he's coming back. Why does he keep knocking cups down? What is this? He seems nice. <laughs> he doesn't seem nice at all. He wants to murder me, I think. I don't know what's going on. I can't... I can't crouch. I'm stuck in here. Ah, oh. idiot. So you are done being stupid up there. Good. Where we go? Why are you calling me stupid? I got shit done, man. I don't know. Apparently West Hook. I can't, like, stand up. There we go. Is this the daycare? I don't think there was anywhere to go in a daycare. This is not good. Too many toys. Children should play with rocks. It'll help them understand life. <laughs> what? Vladdy? Vladdy, can you ride this with me? 
Can you climb this? Oh, he's not amused. He's like, fuck that shit. <gasps> oh! I didn't realize it actually says, I love naps. The coin has been playing in here. I love naps. I didn't realize I actually spelled something. That's a good thing I came back here, Vladdy. Oh. An item out of the folio. Is a nondescript children's block adorned with letters and numbers. You spent a long time trying to figure out which is which. Eventually, you sort it out, but the number five still fools you every now and then. Okay. Let's go, Vladdy. Apparently, the kids should play with rocks. I just don't think he wants to be played with. Whoa! Vladdy, this was not opened up before. Vladdy, I'm gonna run down here. I don't give a shit. I ain't scared. Ooh. Press the button. A broken security checkpoint. What? Why is that Vladdy's job? What is Vladdy supposed to do? Fix it, Vladdy, please. Do it for me, Vladdy. Do it, do it, Vladdy, do it. I like you a lot. Just fix it for me. Please. This stupid thing will never work. It is. Huh? You fixed it. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Good job, Vladdy. Apparently, I can put down this here and that there and the headband and something else. The sketch or the corn? The English muffin? Something else goes there. All right. A facial recognition security checkpoint. <gasps> oh, so the sketchbook. Flatty. I think I gotta do something with sketch the face. <gasps> the painting, Vladdy! Remember the painting that we could touch? Yay! Use portrait as an inspiration for the worst facial sketch sketch in the world. Completely awful. Uh, yeah, it is pretty bad. All right, here we go. All right, do it. You must be joking. That never worked. Vladdy, it worked. Well, that was still stupid. <laughs> Vladdy, don't don't believe it, be Vladdy, please. This fucking got weird. Okay. Heavy door. Hey, look, you opened the door. Yay! Is this a sewer, Vladdy? Vladdy, I don't know about this. This is a little spooky for me. I hear rats, Vladdy. Oh no, that's your that's your feet. <laughs> oh, okay. Vladdy, what do you think about this room? There's a pallet. Add them to a folio. You decided to pick this up because you like the du direction of the grain in the wood, and that it gives you splinters while holding it from every conceivable angle. Okay. A locked toolbox. Whoa, Vladdy. That's... That's racist. A sub... Uh, a submarine... Build your own submarine? What? The instruction manual for building your very own two-man submarine. Since Bob and Ted opted for the budget model, the manual is 800 pages long and mapped out in a fashion that is similar to Choose Your Own Adventure novel. Okay, so this is locked, so we need to find a key... ...for the toolbox. Okay. There is a... an item can be placed here. English muffin! No. Alright, well there's the key. Maybe that's for the toolbox? Hey, Ted, just FYI, I bought the acetylene gas tank up to the farm for the annual staff barbecue. Completely corn-free, of course. Haha. -ha. Bob, how many times have I told you that we can't have barbecues on the farm? Put it back, we're days behind schedule, and stop joyriding with the tractor dummy. I thought we were gonna miss having our conversations. What is this? A water pipe? This magic water pipe grants you the power to transport water from the other end of it to the other. There will be no reason for you to do this at any point in this adventure, but you will continue to carry it anyway, just in case. Thanks. I'm prepared. Right, Vladdy? An approval design for a loading crane. Created by Pete's Games and Carnival, the design of the loading crane appears to be based off a simple claw game. A fact which excited Bob to no end. Ted, conversely, wasn't too thrilled about it, but was stuck with it anyway after Bob forged his signature on the approval form. <laughs> Why? <laughs> That's hilarious. Great. Water. Vladdy's favorite. Do you not like water? That's something you like, Vladdy? Let's go in the water. 
Come on, let's jump in. I'll throw you in. I'll throw you up in the air. There's something over here, more notes. Hi, it's Ted. I upgraded the lifting system so two people could use it at once. Our efficiency will nearly double. Bob, know that I do not say this lightly, but this may, may be, well be the absolute worst idea you ever had. Idiot. Are you? Like, you and him say idiot a lot, so I feel like you're really Ted. What is this? A locked cello case. Does the key work for it? Okay, it doesn't work. Bob, for the last time, stop leaving your junk everywhere. I don't know why you even have a cello case. You don't even own a cello, dummy. A strange sealed box. Okay. Hi, Ed Ted. I need this box of knickknacks loaded. Be a pal and move it for me, would you? Bob, you sloth. I'm not your errand boy. Load it yourself. It never got loaded. So I have a key, so I'm assuming that it opens the toolbox. We have a locked cello case and a sealed box that we can't open with our bare hands. So we're gonna probably need a knife or something. All right, that opened it. So we have a, oh, we have a uh, box cutter and a hammer. So the box cutter is gonna open the box. I don't know what goes there. It looks like some kind of egg. Hey, Vladdy, you're still over here, cool. All right, I'm gonna open this sealed box now. Okay. Why well, you this. pick up so much garbage, idiot? Vladdy does not understand. Vladdy, stop. You've questioned me before, Vladdy. I know what I'm doing. Not. I don't have any idea what I'm doing. Do I hit it with a hammer? Oh, okay. A priceless lockpick. So we can get into the cello case now. So we literally got this whole entire thing done just being here. That was pretty quick. All right, cello case, open. Use the most expensive lockpick in history to unlock the cello case. We got a nuclear fuel rod. Vladdy won't say this, but he probably could crawl through the vent and not unlock the door. Where? Hi, Ted, since this is a highly sensitive area, I added a new security door. No need to thank me, can't be too careful. Bob, you do realize that the new security door closes for no reason and locks people inside this very secure area. Stop being cheap and get some Door, get a door that works more on. Oh, okay, so now I understand. All right, so, hey, Vladdy, I need you. In there? Oh, boots of boy. Come on, Vladdy, do it for me. Yeah, thank you, Vladdy, woo! Stupid idiot, making Vladdy crawl through dumb thing. What is Vladdy supposed to do in here? Stupid, <laughs> <laughs> stupid wires everywhere. Why is this stupid? Oh! Ah! Uh, why is this stupid thing upside down? Makes no sense. How stupid are these idiots? Maybe if Vladdy gets... Oh, ah, Vladdy has to... Oh, just do this stuff. Ah, ah, boy, guys, so many... Is he gonna beat me up? Hey, idiot. Did that work? Stop being stupid and say something. <laughs> it worked. Vladdy done anyway. Do him my Lucian drugs, stupid idiot. Could get nowhere without Vladdy. Vladdy has to do everything. So, now what? <laughs> Vladdy did not like any part of that experience. Also, a new path is open to you. Probably somewhere radioactive. Sweet, we got a fuel rod. All right, so I think I'm gonna end this video here. We've been going for a while. Vladdy, I, I enjoy this game 100 times more just because of Vladdy. I really want to give him this corn or this English muffin so he can have, but uh, we're doing pretty good and uh, I'm enjoying this game so far. Thank you guys again for sticking around and watching this. This is a really cool game. I like it. It's different and it's awesome. Make sure you leave likes down below if you're enjoying it and you want to see more and I will see you guys in another video. Bye.